Peel in a little garlic. It's quite relaxing. Gotta get you one of these. Hey everybody, uh, we're gonna make some hummus today. Um, as you know, it might be a little difficult to get to the store and the lines are outrageous. So I'm gonna show you how to make hummus from scratch. And uh, in, with this video here, we're gonna do a couple, uh, couple things that aren't necessary, but it's the way that I like it. We're gonna be using the Vitamix Perfect Blend recipe app. We're gonna actually be using the uh, hummus uh, recipe in here. You just type in hummus in the search bar and you'll see multiples, uh, multiple variations of hummus pop up. The one I'm doing is the um, top center one. We're gonna be using the Perfect Blend Scale, which is Bluetooth to the app. Again, if you don't know how to hook that up, you just click on that little icon if it has a red line through it, and that just means it hasn't connected. So make sure that your tablet, the Bluetooth connection is on, and uh, that little icon right there does not have a red line through it. Uh, we're gonna be using my trusty A3500 Vitamix and the 48 ounce container. Because this recipe is a little bit smaller, uh, the 48 ounce container being a little bit narrow, in my opinion, will blend this faster, uh, a little bit more efficiently. So this is actually an accessory uh, that you can purchase because the normal one that comes with it is a 64 ounce wide container. So this might be uh, something to look into buying if you do recipes like this often where the portions are a little bit smaller, say less than uh, three cups, like two and a half, two cups or something like that. All right, so um, we're gonna go ahead and toast up these uh, sesame seeds and we're gonna toast up the garlic. That's the variation of it that I like. And uh, at the end of this, uh, you can add in other spices if you like them too. So if you wanna add in, say like peppers, um, like uh, something like this, where you got the fiery five pepper spice or some Italian spice or things like that. Um, you can certainly add that too at the end. So this is uh, almost like kind of like a, a really good base and it's gonna be really good as is and then you can add stuff to it later. If you guys like these videos and you want me to keep making more of them for you, please give us a thumbs up and hit subscribe. You'll get a notification when we come out with new videos too. All right, so let's go ahead and get this started. So I measured out 35 grams of uh, raw sesame seeds. I already got the pan warm, so we're just gonna go ahead and put those in right now, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and let these toast up. And we're just gonna kinda lightly stir those around. And those smell awesome. After these are done toasting, uh, we're gonna put those back into the bowl and then we're gonna put the garlic in there next, okay? So these toast pretty fast. Make sure that you keep moving those around a little bit because you don't want them to burn. If you've never toasted sesame seeds before, you'll be really surprised how good they smell just as is. So you could certainly use uh, tahini in this recipe and you'll notice that some hummus recipes do call for tahini. Um, if you have a Vitamix, obviously while this is uh, making the hummus, this is actually going to blend these little sesame seeds into tahini while it's running. All right. So now you can see they're lightly toasted. Perfect, perfect, exactly what I'm looking for. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and do the garlic. There we go. And I'm gonna do just a little bit of olive oil in with this garlic. And get those roasting up. There we go, that's some happy garlic jumping around in there. So this garlic is just about done. It is looking beautiful. And then we're gonna start putting this all together using the Perfect Blend app and the scale, okay? So, those look amazing. Back over to the app, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and press the blend button there, okay? And 
Yep, we have the scale connected, okay. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and click on where it has the little blender and we're gonna select the 48 ounce wet container. All right, so we'll select that. Now what we'll do is we'll take our container, set it onto the base here, and that's gonna go ahead and uh, do an automatic tear weight. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add in the lemon juice. So let me grab the lemon here. That little strainer is gonna help keep those seeds out from the juice. Let's go ahead and put this in there and see if we need more. See if that's enough. Perfect. So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add in some olive oil. Now, we're gonna add in uh, the garbanzo bean. So I have two garbanzo beans here. One, the liquid is here. So for this one, this one has all the liquid still in it. So as this says, canned with liquid, we're going to use this one here, okay? So this is about three cups. So next thing we're gonna add in is the garbanzo beans without any extra liquid added. Now that we've added in the garbanzo beans, we're gonna go ahead and add in those sesame seeds that we uh, toasted up earlier, okay? Perfect. So this is about 35 grams or four tablespoons of sesame seeds. Get my spatula here, get the rest of those out. Man, these smell awesome. This is uh, one clove of garlic. Okay, so we added in uh, our one clove of garlic. Uh, earlier you saw I toasted up an entire head of garlic. That's fine. Uh, I'm gonna use that later tonight uh, for dinner. But for this one here, if you, uh, if you wanna follow the recipe, it's one clove of garlic. If you really like garlic, uh, like I do, I actually put two of them in there and it's just gonna give that extra garlic flavor. So love that. Next thing we're gonna do is add in the ground cumin. This is about one teaspoon, okay? So very gentle with this. All right, perfect. A little salt in there. Now this is to taste. So you can always add more salt to it at a later point, but we're just gonna add a dash of it in there for now, okay? So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and let me go ahead and turn on the machine here. <clears throat> this is gonna connect to the Perfect Blend app. So you'll see there, it's being connected to the app as you can see. And it will tell me the first thing to do is press that pulse button and now play. So in about one minute, we're gonna have beautiful homemade hummus. All right, awesome. You can see there on the end of that tamper, the texture is just perfect. Mmm, awesome. So let's go ahead and I'll show you how I like to dish this up. All right, so we have this beautiful hummus all finished up. And I'm gonna show you real quick here, this is like, this is how I like to serve it up. So I like to use a plate, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna scoop that out into the center of the plate, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the spatula, I'm gonna lay it on top, and then I'm going to turn the plate and kind of make this spiral shape as it pushes towards the edges, okay? And what I found is that that'll leave me room for these little pockets of olive oil. So what I'm gonna do here is now I'm going to take my olive oil and I'm just going to add that in to those little pockets. 
around it, just like that. Okay. Now to add a little bit of extra to it, ooh, I almost forgot the middle. I'm gonna do a little salt. And a little bit of that fiery five pepper. Perfect. What I'll do from here, is I'll go ahead and take my crackers and I'll just go ahead and place those around the outside. And with this too, you can also finish out the other side with say like carrots, celery sticks, things like that that you like to enjoy your hummus with. All right. Well, you guys try this at home. Super duper easy to do. An awesome recipe, especially when it's from scratch. It's totally fresh. And this is uh, maybe gonna save you a trip to the grocery store uh, during all the chaos out there. All right, well, you guys enjoy. Again, hit like, hit subscribe. We wanna keep making videos for you. And uh, we want you to know when those new ones come out. All right, cheers. Mm-hmm, nailed it, every time. <laughs>